I think she is quite independent as a person and she's always had to do a lot of things for herself. But her way of thinking is possibly not the way the world works today. So instead of leaving it to me, she always wants to do it her way. And then I have to take on midway, which is very difficult for me. Because then there's a lot of argument. Let me do it now. So a lot of time is spent arguing instead of doing something productive. She will be 76 this year in May. I really actually don't do much for her. It's just, have you had your medicine? Have you walked today? That's it. Otherwise, she's quite independent. And she doesn't like too much interference. She doesn't like to be reminded, you know, that she's getting older. And she is yeah, diabetic and um, it's very tough for her not to be able to eat all the things that she likes eating. Especially when we go over, she'll give us mishti, she'll give us lots of food, but she can't eat any of it. So sometimes when she lapses, then I just have to look the other way. Though I'm really paranoid, you know, because last year we almost lost her and it was... And she's always thinking that she doesn't need to tell me that she's a little bit sick. Can we control her? So that's how it started last year. She had a UTI, which is quite a normal thing. And for diabetics, I believe it's quite normal. But because she was trying to control it, it went into blood sepsis. So that was very scary because then her heart, lungs and kidneys were packing up together. I just want her to let go and enjoy whatever bit of life she has. Left. But you know, my mother's a very giving person. So everybody's dumping on her. My son went off for a holiday, even I went off for a holiday. So he dumped his dog on her. So there was a big problem. The servant left and then, you know, there was absolute chaos. He ran away. My son's servant. So there was a big chaos and he doesn't come from here. So then I had to go file a missing persons report, this, that. And she gets anxious and tense because she's answerable to someone else. But she never said no. That no, no, I can't look after your dog. Or no, I can't cook for you. Start hmm. Karun, she's in bed. She's had her medicines. And she is fine, absolutely fine. But she wants to go here and there minus me. I don't know what. So these things, she wants to do. She doesn't understand I'm worried. In fact, she's worrying about me. She's worrying about me. So it's... It is worrying. I, I worry about uh, how it basically put a job because I've seen my grandmother. She was diabetic and she fell down and she never recovered. She never recovered. She died just with that because she kept, you know, that surgery kept being put back, her hip surgery, because of the sugar condition, which just couldn't be done and she just died that way. My mother means the world to me. Even at this age, I'd be very, very lost without her. Someone to confide in, someone who knows you at your worst. We're going to go to the